it is mind blowing to me how you grew up and how you grew up and you're still sane. You know, that you didn't. I'm okay like, now. <laughs> are you okay? I mean, uh, your mother and father, in, in fact, lied to you your whole life. You know, you, at two years old, your parents divorce, your mother remarries, and she presents to you that the guy she remarried is your real father, your biological father. And then the additional pain, you find out that your real father was alive, that he was a guy who used to visit the family as a family friend. Did you ever say to your mother, mom, why didn't you tell me my biological father was my biological father? Well, I think I had to come to terms with, with most of that stuff, if not all of it, pretty quickly for, for one reason I was uh, young. And since then, I, I, I feel like, you know, my mom and I have just a great, great relationship. And Eddie, Eddie, are you saying that you've forgiven your mother for not telling you that your biological father was your biological father? And why would your biological father go along with that? It's something I can't comprehend. I had three younger brothers and we're extremely, extremely close. And, and this is 1969 or something. Right. And their logic was, we want them to feel like brothers and they don't, we don't want them to feel separated and like stepbrothers. And, you know, nowadays it's much different. Nowadays you have single moms raising kids. It's not a, it's not a social pariah. Your name was Ed Muller growing up, um, right? Yeah. Mueller. Mueller. Eddie yeah. Mueller. And this guy Mueller becomes your father. <laughs> he treated you poorly. Was he physically abusive or was he just a, a, a mentally abusive guy? Oh, wow. I can't, you know, I, I want to say like I was probably a little bit of a out of control teenager. But, but you know, my, my parents were splitting up and uh, I was upset about that. My mom took my brothers to Chicago. I stayed in California. Uh, I was like working at the Long's Drugs and... Um, Eddie, that's amazing. I mean, at 15, you're living on your own, you're going to school and you're working to support yourself. Uh, the famous story was you went to your teachers and uh, the teachers were complaining about your grades and you said you opened up your backpack and you showed them <laughs> your bills. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Moreno said, you know, you missed another test. This is reality. And I pulled out my bills. I said, no, sir, this is my reality. <laughs> but you laugh about it. But I mean, that is so sad. Yeah, because it all worked out so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you know, I know what it's like to be under the lion's paw. Had I not been through any of that, you know, I'd, I'd, you know, my whole life would be a sham. But let me just clarify one last thing. When my mom told me that this guy wasn't my father and it was somebody else, you know, that was it, it was a shock. But I was I was so grateful in a way. I mean, I was like. Oh, fuck. Like, thank God, you know, because I really didn't. I didn't come out of this point. guy's balls. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't have any genetic re relation to this guy. You know, there's a line in, in, in Tommy, it's the who, and, 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 and Rogers, Tommy is singing to the crowd and, and he says, uh, uh, hey, you, uh, Mr. Normal. You know, that was the guy I didn't want to be. I didn't want right. to be Mr. Normal. And kind of the way I was brought up, I was worried about just like being Mr. Normal. And so even when my mom told me that, you know, my dad wasn't my dad, I thought, well, that's a, that's a fucking interesting twist. Like <laughs> my life got way more interesting <laughs> at that moment, you know?